A credit card dispute, or chargeback, is a powerful tool for consumers if it's used properly. You can be refunded immediately. You have to pay the rest of your bill, but the disputed charge will go away while the credit card company weighs both sides. Let's look at the process. As soon as a transaction goes sour, start documenting everything. Every call, every email. When it's clear your effort to try to resolve the dispute yourself isn't getting anywhere, pick up the phone or go online and contact your credit card company. Make your case with evidence. But before you contact the credit card company, you should give the business some time to do the right thing. How long? Discover says you should wait up to 15 days for the merchant to credit your account. But don't wait too long. Credit card companies generally only give you a certain amount of time to open a dispute. Chase says you must submit your dispute within 60 days of the transaction first appearing on your statement. That's an important distinction to understand, especially when you prepay for things far in advance, stuff like travel. Discover told us there's no dollar cap on its disputes. When you open one, the credit card company will likely contact the business for its side of the story. The company Mitigator, which helps businesses with credit card disputes, says 78% of companies fight back. So make sure you make your case convincing. So how long will a dispute take? That depends. American Express says most disputes are resolved within a month, although complex cases could require additional time. Discover said it's 30 to 60 days. If you lose, the charge will reappear on your statement, and you could start accruing interest from that point. But the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says you should not pay interest during the time the credit card company is investigating. I should note, disputes like this are actually pretty rare. Mitigator says fewer than 2% of credit card charges are ever disputed. But you have a pretty good chance of winning. For every 10 disputes, Mitigator says 5 consumers win and 5 businesses win. If you're one of the five who loses, that's not the end of the line. You might be able to appeal, especially if there's new evidence.